In this video, I want to talk about the meaning of the divergence in the curl using the divergence theorem and Stokes theorem. We'll end up with a, a definition of the divergence in the curl of a vector field which is coordinate free, doesn't depend on Cartesian coordinates or cylindrical coordinates or spherical coordinates. So let's start with the meaning of the divergence. So we start with the divergence theorem. So the divergence theorem says that the integral over a volume of del dot u dv is equal to the integral over the surface that um, the volume is within of u dot ds. Okay? So you have some volume that's uh, surrounded by a surface. Okay. Uh, how do we get the uh, definition of the divergence of u from this uh, divergence theorem? Well, we can take our volume and shrink it down to a point, okay? And then the integral will just become del dot u times the uh, volume associated with that small uh, volume, you know, but we're limiting to a point. So that gives us del dot u equals the limit as this volume then goes to zero of one divided by the volume of this uh, surface integral of u dot ds. Okay? So from the divergence theorem, we can actually have a definition of the divergence of a vector field in terms of uh, this limit. Okay? Coordinate free. I don't say whether we're working in Cartesian coordinates or spherical coordinates. So from this uh, definition of del dot u, let's see if we can construct some type of uh, physical meaning of uh, del dot u. Let's look at, say, a, um, a volume uh, surrounded by a surface. I take something like a, uh, a sphere. Um, if u dot ds was equal to zero. Um, this would be uh, like putting a sphere in an incompressible fluid. So if you have a fluid flow that looks something like this, right? The density of the fluid doesn't change. So the flow that's going through the surface, the amount of fluid going through the surface is equal to the amount of fluid coming out of the surface. So in this case, um, fluid in equals fluid out. So u dot ds equals zero. So here del dot u is zero. Okay? So this is fluid in equals fluid out. Okay? And that's the incompressibility condition for a flow. So whatever goes in goes out. So the density of the fluid doesn't increase in the sphere or doesn't decrease in the sphere. Okay? Uh, then when can you get this um, in surface integral of u dot ds different from zero? Okay? So here is an example. You have our uh, surface surrounding a volume. Let's say you have some some hose or something here, and out of the hose you have fluid flowing, right? So you have fluid flowing here. Okay? That's called a uh, source, right? A fluid source. And here you have the integral over the surface u dot ds then, because you have fluid coming out, would be non-zero. And in fact, then, uh, because the limit as v goes to zero, you would have uh, del dot u would diverge, would become infinite. But um, in, in any case, you can have more gentle situations than a pure source like this. Here you have del dot u being uh, positive. Okay? On the other hand, you could have a drain, and that's called a sink, and then fluid flowing into the drain, and here you would have del dot u being negative, okay? So that's kind of the physical picture one should have of the divergence. Um, if there's no sources or sinks, 
then typically the divergence is zero. And then if you have a source, the divergence is positive. If you have a sink, the divergence is negative. Okay. So what about the meaning of the curl? So the meaning of the curl means we will use the, uh, we will use the Stokes theorem to get the meaning of the curl. So Stokes theorem has a surface and a curve. So the integral over the surface of del cross u dot ds right, is equal to the integral over the curve, which is bounding the surface of u dot dr. So that's Stokes' theorem, okay? So we have our del cross u here. So we have a surface, uh, could be three-dimensional, but it's not a closed surface. It has one, uh, it's bounded then, has a lip on it that is a uh, curve. Okay, a closed curve forming the lip of the surface. Um, if we want a coordinate free then definition of del cross u, we can limit this by shrinking the surface then down to a uh, point, uh, down to the surface of a tiny uh, area around the point, right? Say a disk around the point. Um, and how do we limit this? Well, we end up with then del cross u. We still have the uh, normal vector to the surface, so I'll choose a unit normal vector here to the surface. And then this is going to be equal to the limit as that surface goes to zero. We have the surface here, S, so we have 1 over S times this closed uh, curve integral of U dot dr. Okay, and then this is our coordinate-free definition of the curl. Um, because the curl is a vector, we have to look at a component of the curl. The component here then is the one that's parallel to the normal to the surface. Okay, definition of the curl. So let's look at a, how this works. So we have a uh, surface. Let's, let's look at then a disk in the plane, right? So this is the surface S. And the surrounding, uh, the bounding curve then is here. That's our C. So this is, this is the surface S. This is our curve C, right? Um, the normal vector, if you use your uh, right-hand rule, so you point your fingers along the curve, the normal vector then will be going towards you, out of the screen towards you, right? That's the normal vector. So we're looking at the curl of U in the direction of the normal vector, okay? So that's equal to this limit, but it, within the limit then we're looking at the integral of U dot dr. So if U dot, if the integral over this curve of U dot dr equals zero, then the curl will be zero, right? So how do we get a u dot dr around the curve not equal to zero? Well, that's if the fluid is somehow circulating, right? So you have a few fluid flow that is moving around in some sort of circulation, okay? This looks like turbulent fluid, right? So del cross u in this case is uh, not equal to zero. And that's called vorticity in fluid motion, okay? And vorticity is essentially associated with the eddies, the eddies of, say, a turbulent fluid. So you end up with a swirling fluid, and then you can get the curl not equal to zero. Okay, so let me uh, review what uh, the divergence theorem and Stokes theorem can give us is a co coordinate free definition of both the divergence and the curl. And it can also give us some physical meaning. The uh, divergence of a vector field uh, is zero for an incompressible fluid. Whatever flows in through a surface flows out. But if you have sources and sinks, 
then uh, you can have a non-zero divergence inside of that volume. The uh, curl is non-zero when you have some sort of swirling motion in the fluid. This is a rather generalization, but this is a good way of thinking about it, that the curl of a vector field is what's called vorticity, and it's, it's related somehow to the swirl of the field. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.